Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to move on from where we left off and we're going to actually create the screen that allows us to place our items on there so that we can make them clickable. Before I get started, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, then feel free to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. You can visit the Patreon linked in the description below and you can also become a member by clicking on the join button next to the subscribe button. So before we go any further, what we need to do is we need to create another variable and it's going to be default and we're going to call it notification and we're going to give it a value of false and that will become apparent later on as to why we do that. So we need to create a new screen now. So we're going to go into our screens folder and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this one clicky screen.rpy and we're going to create our screens. We call it screen, clicky screen and brackets and return there. Happy days. So this is going to be very similar to our other screens in the sense that what we need to do is we need to loop through our entire list of objects and we need to place a button on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for Q in and now we're going to go to our classes and we're going to get the name of the variable. So we have here clickies and clickies append. Now I have noticed an error that we've already picked up on here so we're going to copy and cut all of that so we're going to control x that and we actually need to put these inside our class like so so no great shakes we just select the whole lot after we paste it and we go shift tab and now they are contained within our class so apologies for that so we've got our variable name here we're going to copy that there control c and we're going to come back to our clicky screen and we're just going to say control v like that it's as simple as that. And we're going to go Control S so we can save it. Happy days. Now, what we need to do is we need to say if Q dot location, and we're going to have to go back to our classes again to check that it's a capital L for that property. So we come back up here, and yes, it is. So we can go back into our class, into our loop there if q.location equals equals location so if we are in the correct place for this item then we're going to create an image button like the same thing that we had in our other screens which is our map screen so if we go to our nav map here we've got this here we can actually just copy this whole section here like this control c come into our click screen here and control V. Now all we have to do is adjust these values to suit our item. So we can come into here and we know that our icon is just called self dot icon. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just go delete that, delete that. Focus mask is still true. Now we need to do set variable type. It's no longer nav, now it's item. So we'll click on that we we'll change that toggle variable nav menu we don't need to do that anymore so we can delete that like so and we're going to return our name now we're not we're actually going to go into our classes because we've created this so we're going to copy that value there control c and we're going to return that instead and then the hover icon or the the tool tip is just going to be U dot name like that and that's all there is to it for our clicky screen it's nice and simple now we just need to add this to the main ui so we're going to go to Control c copy that value name and we're going to go to our main ui to rpy so we've got our nav button here so we're just going to put this underneath there so we're going to say use Control v use the clicky screen so these are going to go down before the map menu so that the map menu is always on top of anything that we may have in that vicinity we're actually going to move this to probably a different area of the screen at some point but for now it's fine so we've got our clicky screen now in place 
So theoretically, when we go to the garden, we should be able to click on our couch. And actually what we can do is just double check that these properties are actually correct before we do it. So we're going to uh, seat and sofa we know are correct. That's just the name that's gonna be put on the screen. That's the code friendly name that we've given our file, but garden, is that correct? So let's look. No, the location is actually called my garden. So that's fine. We can simply change that to my garden. Let's check that that is indeed a capital G at the front of there. Yes, it is. Like that. We know that it's an object. we don't actually have to put into our game loop a silly minor oversight by me so we can go to set variable game type and we can actually change that to self dot click type check that that variable is actually the correct spelling of that property click type with a small c so I'll just copy that and we'll pop that there Actually, that's meant to be Q. Quickly change that to Q. Click type, and that should be fine. And thinking about it, I think we actually did that was part of our example about the click type name. Let me just double check that. Ah, yeah, the property's actually got a capital C, so we can change that to a capital C, and that should be. And let's just double check what we've got here. Ah, right, okay, so we need to change this to code friendly name as well. That's probably much more sensible. So we'll go CF name like that and CF name is there. And that's only because obviously the um, file name is my garden and not garden if we use the normal name. So that's just put out that potential fire. In fact, just a quick thought. Yep, right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use our, remember we defined this function or this method um, much, much earlier ago. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna pop that in there like that. So we're gonna use the code friendly name. We're going to use our code friendly location name, but what we also need to do is we need to put the correct file path in because at the moment it's not looking in the right place. So I'm glad we came back here to check. So what we need to do is just pop that like that images and i believe it is items forward slash like that and then we'll have our code friendly location name so we're going to copy that now we're going to paste it in there like that and then that should now give us the correct file path the correct location and the correct name of the object happy days now when we run our game code let's just pop that up there let's have a look Give us a start. We start off in the bank, so we're gonna use our new fangled map. Go to my garden, and here we are in the garden. So as you can see, the background's there, and if we go over this, there you go. There we click on the seat, like so. And then if we click on that, it does nothing at the moment because we haven't actually told the game what to do in the instance that somebody has clicked on it. However, we will cover that in the next episode. I hope you found that useful, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.